I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Divisions, denominations, why are there so many of them? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Today's Christianity is fragmented. It's divided. There's a denomination, a church on every corner, and within denominations, there's all sorts of um, division in and of themselves. Who can keep track of the alphabet soup that is Lutheranism, ELCA, LCMS, and the like? And shouldn't we, says the world and some of Christianity, just set aside our differences and love one another and just drink the same Jesus juice and, and just agree to disagree in order for faith? Well, no. The Word. The Word is what causes the division. Jesus causes the division. Jesus speaks His Word, His Word of law and gospel, and His Word is so radical, so Jesus-y, that it in and of itself is unbelievable by our own reason or strength. God has taken our sins, taken our iniquity, taken our crimes, taken our punishment, taken our, our hell, and He's placed it upon His, his Son, Christ, kept the law for us in its entirety with all its demands. And then he suffered for all the times in which we don't keep the law. And then he takes the salvation that he achieved for us with his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death, and he delivers it to us in his gifts. We are saved in the waters of holy baptism. We are absolved in the word of pardon preached to us, put upon us in holy absolution, spoken to us by our neighbor. He feeds us. Christ feeds us his very body to eat and his blood to drink for the forgiveness of all our sins at his supper. And faith, which is born of the gifts, which is born of the word, lays hold of Jesus and we're saved. Faith believes the word of God in the water. Faith lays hold of the forgiveness of sins spoken to us in the word and the promise of the gospel. Faith believes Jesus' word that he gives us his body to eat and his blood to drink for the forgiveness of all our, our sins because he says so. Unbelief rejects the word of God, rejects Jesus, says that something isn't enough or, or that Jesus isn't enough. No, I need more. Uh, you save me by grace alone, but I have to make a commitment. I have to believe. I have to do something to make it sure. Your word doesn't make sense to me, so I have to tweak it or change it, or it's not relevant today. It's sort of antiquated, so I need to sort of supplement it with, what, with the culture. But... In doing so, what's lost is the very gospel itself. And Jesus is so set on it, so set on saving us, so dead set on it, that he will not bend his words. He will not compromise because he doesn't want to lose us. He doesn't change or adapt, adapt his, his saving. He's all in, Calvary in, cross in, empty tomb into saving us. See, disunity and fracture and schism is caused by us compromising his words. We adapt or change his words. We have to have it our way. And it doesn't really matter what the word of God says because we're going to be the deciding factor on what we believe and what we think is right. So Jesus prays for unity. That we, and we should too. We should pray for unity. But Jesus prays for unity around his word and in his word. And his word is truth. So he prays for unity in the truth. The word causes division in sinners. Jesus gives his word. Jesus takes the divisions upon himself and says, I didn't come to bring peace, but the sword. I came to divide mother, father, sister, brother, wife, children. And whoever doesn't, whoever loves these things more than me isn't worthy of me. See, we don't agree to disagree when it comes to the Lord's words. You see, that doesn't work. You don't agree to disagree concerning whether to stop at a red light. If you do that, you're going to plow into somebody because the truth is you're supposed to stop at a red light. You're supposed to go at a green light. Jesus alone saves us with his holy life and his bitter sufferings and death. And he delivers that salvation to us in his gifts. That is a life and death truth that cannot be compromised on and cannot be agreed to disagree. Uh, agreed to dis agreed upon. The next time someone tries to agree to disagree with your faith, uh, disagree with that, and it'll disagree. That disagreement will cause the whole agreeing to disagree thing to to fall apart. I think you understand what I mean, but you, I hope. But instead, cling to the Lord's words. Unity in the faith is worked out in the Word. 
in the truth of the gospel. This is what we believe. This is what we teach. This is what we confess. This is what the word of God says. No adding or subtracting from it. We don't set aside our differences and act as if we're one when we aren't. No, we work out our differences in the word and we come to what the word says and we confess what the word says about Jesus and his salvation. Jesus doesn't compromise his word for unity. We don't compromise his word for unity either. Next week, we'll talk about what the right church is and where the right church is. But this week, unity caused by Jesus, disunity caused by Jesus is truth. Pray for unity, but understand that the only unity there is is in the, the, is in the truth of Jesus' gospel, his saving word. I'm Pastor George Bargar, and this, this has been another Higher Things video short.